Hello there, this is JT Herbert, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Let's carry on through. Go I did not want to ground pound there, that's not what I want to do at all. Anyway, so let's just carry on going through Gobi's Valley. Got a few more notes to get, got a few more chickies to get, a few more gingers to get, pretty much a little bit of everything. Also got a couple of. One of, the, one of those called honeycomb pieces. I think we haven't actually got either of them yet. Got the Ecom Bokum token at the top of this thingy. There we go. What's in here? I, I don't think I've been in here yet. Oh, it's this place. This is King Sunnybutt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Oh dear, I do not like the sound of that. Okay, so if we proceed through here, it all goes to shit because... Oh no! You chose not to hear our warning. Prepare to run. Yeah, so you get a time limit, you gotta get through the whole place, otherwise you die instantly. Which is, of course, not what you want, because you lose all your notes and all your jinjos. Um, where am I going? This way. There is also a bitch switch somewhere in this maze, so you gotta be careful. Oh, okay. So the trick is, really, to get here. No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic, which is a jiggy. They're always fucking jiggies. Anyway, so you get here, then it's, it's easy to go back, and you have to try and find your way to the bitch switch. Otherwise, well, well, you need the bitch switch. Otherwise, you'd miss out on a jiggy, and you do need them all. At least if you're going for 100% like me. You hit the bitch switch, and what does this one do? It opens the whatever the fuck you call that thing. I don't remember what you'd call that thing. It's not a carcass. That's the. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of Carcass. Sarcophagus, I think that might be it. Either way, it's, after doing that, you can just come through here. I don't think there's any notes in this room for you to get, so you just come out here, collect these notes, and then, hey look, what do we have here? It's a Jiggy! Give me Jimmy, give me Jiggy. There we go. Ow. So, as you can hear, there is also a feather in there. That's all I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ginger in this pot. No, that's an Ecom Bokum token. It's this pot with the ginger. There we go. I know it was in one of them. There we go. Oh, just one more ginger to get. Very nice. Right, so, and we end up coming out of the back because, you know, somehow that entire maze was, f well, it managed to fit inside this huge pyramid. I guess it's some form of TARDIS or something, I don't know. Either way, there is more notes up here. Give. I need these. I need them. Hey, notes. You're my friend. I want to be your friend. Collect him. Collecting friends. Notes can't be friends. That's silly. Either way, some more up here. And isn't there like a, some sort of switch up here? Yes, there is. So I'm just going to hit this and slide down into the thing. And it opens the door. I think this one isn't this the like puzzle thingy? Um, I think so. Yes, it is. To make this easier, I'm just going to kill this guy. The only way to kill those guys is to use the invincibility feather. And so you just grab these notes, and then it's one of those matching puzzles. So you got to kind of remember what you hit. So hey, look, it's an egg, and then it's not an egg. So you need two of the same thing. You just got to try and remember which one's which. So we just got note. So far, I haven't seen any doubles. Uh, wow, seriously, no doubles yet? Oh, okay, there's one. I think it was this one. That's right, yes. I'm not, not, I don't normally think I'm good at these, but these ones I seem to be okay on. I'm not entirely sure, like, whether it's just this one, or like, oh, was this one, who is that, this one? Yes, okay, good. This one is musical note. Didn't I already have that? Was that one this one? No, that's Mumbo. Was it this one? No, shit. Oh, well, that was lucky, I guess. That's Mumbo. Okay, this need this one. There we go. Watch. Egg. Egg was down here, wasn't it? I think. No, that's musical note. No, egg was down in the bottom right corner. Wow. Idiot. Either way, it's pretty easy. Uh, Jinjo, uh, that's there. Yeah, okay, that's it. That's all of them. And the prize is... <gasps> What's the prize? It's a Jiggy! Oh my god! As if we haven't got enough of these already! I just want more of them! I want all a hundred and... hundred of them! That's just a hundred, I don't know why I said a hundred and... Either way, that's all we need in here. Right, now around the back here, I believe there's a switch. Honeycomb switch, and activating this will allow you to get to the honeycomb through that cactus. 
weird shaped cactus. So I'm not entirely sure how it gets to share that. And there's the last ginger that gives us another jiggy, putting us up to 8 out of 10 jiggies for the level. Just need two more, one of which, no, let me try and think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which, oh, there's the Gobi one, which um, we're going to go get right now, after collecting these two notes. And not falling in the sand, I don't want that. Where is it? Where's the, where's the magic carpet gone? There it is. Hey, well you gotta watch out, it does actually disappear, I'm not sure. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Why did you do that? No. So it's actually probably a better idea, <laughs> I think about it, to wait till after it disappears before you jump on it. Like, like, like this, because otherwise it's gonna be like, it's gone, and then you get hit. And it reappears, and you jump on it, and you go for a ride. Yay. And then you get onto this island, and hey, poor little camel here, what's up? <sighs> it's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Well... It's actually pretty cold here, considering it's like snowing right now, but I'll free you from the desert. Hey! And he gets me a jiggy. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. And he can run through the sand somehow. And that gives us another jiggy. And there's one more jiggy, which funnily enough we also need to get from Gobi. So I think all we need now is there's a few notes and the honeycomb pieces, and then that last jiggy. I'll get the last jiggy on the way out. I just gotta think about the... I think I know where the last notes are? I'm not 100% convinced. Uh, oh wait, no, no, I, I need to go get that jiggy first, because it unlocks the area I need to... It, it, I need to do that, but, ow, shit. I need to do that before I can get the other honeycomb piece. That's what it is, right? So if I head down, if you go down here, he's like, hey, I've got water now. And if you remember this tree who needs water. So it's like, hey, Gobi, do you want to share water? This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all the warp, all my water for myself. <laughs> you know what? You're a dick. I'm just going to like force you to feed it the water. There we go. Ah, lovely water. Trunker feels great. And Trunker grows. And I get a jiggy. Which is exactly what I need to finish. And unfortunately, there's no way to get up there. By which I mean you have to climb up another tree. You can't climb up that tree because it's too thick or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that's the last jiggy of the level. So that's all of the jiggies. I don't even know. So now I just need the rest of the notes and the honeycomb pieces. I'll get the honeycomb piece in the cactus first, I think, since it's just over. There's a flight pad up here, so I can easily get to it. You've got to be careful with it, though, because if you end up, like, slightly missing and, like, hitting the cactus, you are going to take some damage, which is not ideal. It's not the easiest to get, but it's not too difficult either. You've got to line it up right, which I'm totally not doing. Fuck! Oof. Well, I got it at least. Oh, piss! Bloody hand getting in the way. Now, if you fly all the way over here, you can actually get here with a carpet, but it's uh, since I'm flying, I might as well just come over here with this. It's like, hey, what's up, Gobi? I'm just going to collect all these notes. That's all the notes. Brilliant. Found all 100 notes on the world. Woohoo! This door, op this door can open if you're using the stop and swap version, which is the Xbox version, by playing. What was it? You have to play Banjo Tooie, I think, to get it. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played it. You can open it on this by typing in a code, but it, it doesn't do anything. And so just like ground pound him, and he's gonna spit out his honeycomb piece. Ugh, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. It's also important to do this because for a later, much later level, he's you need to have done this, otherwise he won't appear on the level. And hey, look! That's another honeycomb piece. I don't even know what that was about. So that's, I believe that's Gobi's Valley 100% completed. So if we just proceed to the exit once more, and then we can leave and do some other stuff. Exit's just down here, so it's not too far to go. I like the music. I like the music. Can't you tell? Yes. 
Wow, your score is whatever the fuck it is. It's always 100% because I'm that good. I don't know what it is about this area. For some reason, it lags my fr My frame rate is 20 here. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, well. It always seems to be the case. Anyway, so now we can use this thingy, the the shock jump pad to... Hey, watch out, my, mummies. You're not my you're not my mummy. I want my mummy. No, I don't. If you use the shock jump pad, you can actually get over here to collect the jiggy. Boop, boop. Cool. Then we can proceed up here. Now, before I, I didn't collect the, the, there's a jiggy up in the advent calendar that we opened, but the thing is I couldn't get to it because you needed the speedy shoes. And I didn't really show why you needed the speedy shoes, but I just figured, hey, no point wasting your time. So if you basically climb up, up here, watch out for the snowman throwing snowballs. I don't know if you can hear him at all. There's, if you go here actually first, there's a. That's not what I wanted at all. First of all, you hit that, hit the switch, and it gives that, and then. Oh, cool, I can just go in the fly. Oh, but you've got to. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Well, there's a little thing over here I forgot to grab. I think it's. I think it's yeah, you can break them token, that's what I thought it was. And there's nothing either side, so. And then when time runs out, it explodes, so you've got to be quick. And not miss the. the shoes, otherwise it's like, well, good job, guy. So you grab them and then you run! You do have to be very quick. It's very easy to like just miss the flight pad. So as you see, I'm gonna only have like one second spare. There, one second spare. <laughs> very close. And, it, and there's a tube or tunnel, whatever you wanna call it, up here, which you can fly through simple enough to get the required jiggy. Which is, there's also gold feather in here, but I wouldn't recommend landing because that means you have to go and do it all again. Then you fly up to collect this jiggy, and then you're you're done for the day. Cool. Now, it's sort of time. Yeah, we got we got time. So uh, I've also left there was one jiggy inside Free CC Peak that we haven't got yet. So we're going to get that first. Now this level is much more appropriate for the current weather, at least for me. I'm not sure what it's like wherever you are, but for me it's fucking snowing. It's a pain in the ass. I don't like snow myself. Either way, now that we've got the speedy shoes, we can head back down to Boggy, who's just around here. And like, hey, what's up? Do you want to race? Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to accept or B to check it out. I'll accept. And we get the speedy shoes. Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Yes, we know the rules. Go through the gates and then you win. That's all you need to do. It's actually, it's impossible if you don't have the speedy shoes, but if you have the speedy shoes, it's really easy. At least I think it's really easy. Faster, you're not going flying back there. Yes, I am. I just haven't got my speedy shoes yet. I mean, I do now, but still. Fuck. That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to miss a gate. That's very much not good. Very counterproductive towards... Oh, God, don't fall down there. I think if you stay on that side bit too long, you do end up falling into the water and basically taking the ice damage, which you don't want at all. Hey, he is catching up me with me now, and I don't want him to catch up there. I don't know what the fuck I am doing, so let's just go on with the game and let's go now. I, yeah, I don't even know why I decided to do that sometimes, but either way, it's easy enough, and we are uh, just about to win, and we just about to catch up, and up. Doesn't matter, because I won. Suck it, bitch! Though I've lost it. Take my other medal. I'm off to look for my kids' presents. Yeah, about that. I've kind of already got them in a previous episode. That was like two or three episodes ago now, so easy enough. Jiggy! Cool. It's ten jiggies, which means that is now six levels 100% completed. So that's going good. Okay, so in the next... I believe I will end the episode here. In the next episode, I will make my way over to the next level. And we have to go to... Of course, first we have to actually go to the painting and sort that all out. So, I... Actually, I should probably do that in this episode. But I'll cut it here and I'll see you outside in the overworld. Okay, we're back. And so, basically now we can... It, we can... If you remember where we had the Gobi's Valley's thingy uh, painting... Ow! Shit. Piss off. There we go. Wait. Wait a second. No. No, I'm remembering completely wrong. It's up here we need to go. I th 
I've completely forgotten what I need to do. I'm pretty sure it's up here, because 450 and we've got 600, so it's, it could easily be in here, so let's have a look in here. No doors are no match for me. I don't even fucking know. Either way. I think... I think it basically where we need to go is through this tunnel here. Because we need to... We need. We don't need to raise the water. That's after the level. But we need to find the painting. And the painting is through here. I think. Or have I gone... I am not sure, actually. Is... Is it through here? Ah, oh, yes, it is. I can see. Oh, God. Get away from me, fish. Whoa, God. Piss off. Piss off. I don't want to deal with your shit. Okay, let's get through here. I should probably have gone for air first. That would have been a smart idea. Tootie's fate is looking grim. It's because her brother's dim. Hey, fuck you. I'm not dim. Well, I mean, I'm not... I'm not a brother, but Banjo is, and oh shit, I am not liking the look of that air gauge. Oh, just, only just, okay. And there's another fish here to do the stuff, and the, I don't even know. I should stop doing that. Either way, basically, if you, you fly up these side things, and you can fly, then yeah, at the end you find, hey look, it's a painting, which has barely got anything filled in, and just fill it in automatically. Mad Monster Mansion. Mmm. Get it? Because MMM, I'm so not funny. Mad Monster Mansion. It's... I, I like it, but I'm also really don't like it because of the... Oh, fuck, I sh I kind of want to get that. Die, fish! Cock. Ah, there we go. That's better. 20 Econ Pokemon tokens. I think that's actually what I need in the next level. <laughs> but I've already got it. We're not even there yet. Wow. Although, basically, you swim all the way back and you then enter the witch's head. I will see you after I enter the witch's head. After going through this door. Just transition. Okay, so that's just going through the witch's head door. So if you remember here, this is where we, where we last went to see. We went. Uh, I'm not Gobi's Valley here. It's, it, don't fall off the edge now. You don't want to fall in that lava. It's a really awkward bit afterwards. We like you can go across this weird, awkward bridge thing, but there's no point yet because we need the transformation to actually get what we need from there. Very sinister looking place. Lots of graves. It's not, not very... <laughs> don't want to be looking for this. Now, a, a, key th a key thing to remember, before you enter the level, what you want to do is you want to come over here and destroy this gate. That's, that's very important, unless you want to have to, like, exit the level and come back in again. It's annoying, so just don't forget that. But I think I'll end the episode here, and in the next episode we will enter Mad Monster Mansion. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.